and someone that has been an incredible inspiration in that theory of change and how we're approaching this and continuing to fight for things that matter to us is Senator Bernie Sanders. Right now.
you don't hear very much in the media, and you don't hear very much in Congress. And that in many respects, this country is moving toward an oligarchic form of society. In which a small handful of people who have unlimited amounts of money are exercising their power to determine the legislation that gets passed in Washington and to determine, in fact, who gets elected to Congress. And we need, and this is not easy, it is not easy, let me tell you. And Cyril will tell you the same thing. We need elected officials who have the guts to tell the billionaire class they cannot have it all. that we have more income and wealth inequality in America today than we have had in a hundred years. You got two people who own more wealth than the bottom 40% of this country. And during this terrible, terrible pandemic, when a million people have died, when hundreds of thousands of workers have been forced to go to work, they didn't have a choice. They went to work and some of them died that during this period, billionaire class saw a $2 trillion increase in their wealth. So we need members of Congress who are going to have the guts to stand up to these very, very powerful people. And Jessica will be back. Jessica understands that the national minimum wage of $7.25 an hour is a starvation wage and it's got to be raised to at least 15 bucks an hour. <laughs> Jessica understands that we have a broken tax system in which in a given year, some billionaires and profitable corporations don't pay a nickel in federal taxes. And Jessica understands that if we're going to rebuild the middle class of this country, we need to rebuild the trade union movement. and together we are going to rebuild the trade union movement and bring millions of workers into organized labor. <laughs> Jessica understands that working parents deserve quality, affordable childcare and free pre-K for the little ones. Jessica understands, and we see it with our own eyes every day, the fact that climate change is an existential threat to this planet. We need to transform our energy system and create millions of good paying jobs. As we move to energy efficiency, sustainable energy, and a green new deal. Understands, as we all do, that there are people out there very consciously, in a very calculated manner, are trying to divide us up 
by the color of our skin and where we were born. And we just saw the horror that we saw last week in Buffalo. And Chesley Air is going to stand with progressives in Congress to do everything we can to finally end the xenophobia and the systematic, systematic racism which exists in this country. last couple of weeks. And we know that 50 years after Roe v. Wade, a woman's right to control her own body is under threat. Jessica is running against the candidate, Mr. Cuello, who apparently believes that it is appropriate for the government at the federal, state, and local level to tell every woman in this country what she can or cannot do with her body. Jessica and I and you disagree. representing working families. This is a real attack on the foundations of American democracy. Now I think Jessica would agree with me that what politics is supposed to be about is people coming forward and saying to you, this is what I believe in, you disagree with me, we argue it out, and the voters make a choice about who's right, who represents their interests on the issues. But what we are seeing now in Texas District 28 and all over this country are billionaires who don't know South Texas, who could care less about District 28, they don't know you, they've never been here, they hire consultants, who put these ugly 30 second ads on TV and in the radio. And what I say tonight, and I say it seriously, that even if you disagree with Jessica on this or that issue, you should vote for her to tell these billionaires they cannot buy elections. That's right. spending it in Michigan and they're spending it here. But I got some bad news for them. We beat them in Pennsylvania. Summer League is going to be the next hot in District 28, Texas. And if we beat them badly enough, maybe they will learn 
but they can take their money, put it in their pockets, and let the people decide who they want rather than trying to buy them. Look, I don't have to tell anybody here that these are tough times for our country. We see what's going on in Ukraine and climate change. It's a very tough time for the world. And I know, and Jessica knows, a lot of people are getting discouraged. A lot of people say, I don't want to vote, it doesn't matter. And I just have to say to those people that if you look at history, you understand that real, real change never takes place without struggle. That's what Frederick Douglass told us way back when. If you think about all of those people throughout our history, people who fought for civil rights to end slavery and end segregation, people who fought for immigration rights, think about the struggles that women went through who 100 years ago didn't even have the right to it. If you think change came about because some guys at the top said, well, we think it's time to make change, you're wrong. Change never takes place unless millions of people stand up, fight for it, and demand that change. It's whether a handful of billionaires can buy this seat, or whether we send Jessica to Congress who understands she is part of a movement who represents working families. I should tell you that first time I won an election, I was elected mayor of Burlington way back then. By the way, I want to invite all of you to visit us in Vermont. It's a little bit cooler in the summer. First time I won an election. On election night, I won by 14 votes. They did a recount that was 10 votes. Every vote counts. You don't want to wake up on Wednesday morning and read that Jessica lost by a handful of votes. So what I would ask of all of you is in the next few days, do everything you can to bring a friend, a family member, fellow student, co-worker, whatever it is, bring him or her out to the polls. The truth is the entire country is looking at this district right now. And what they are looking at and asking is whether a candidate of the people and for the people can take on and defeat powerful corporate interests. That's what this campaign is about, and that's why it is absolutely imperative that we do everything we can in the next few days to elect Jessica Sisteros as the next member of Congress for District 28. Thank you all.